This week's parsha discusses the obligation of the Levites to serve in the temple. Yes, it is an honor and a privilege for the men ages 50 to serve in the temple if they were Levites. However, even though this was a privilege, it was also an obligation. These Levites didn't have a choice to be farmers or be artists or be weavers or be any of those things, but their job and their lot was to serve in the temple. This past week, I made a really quick trip to New York. I was able to see my new niece. I was able to attend a wedding of some really good friends. And unfortunately, I also attended a funeral of a good friend of mine, Pero Bas Menachem Mendel HaKohen. So this is in her memory and in her merit. Peril was an incredibly strong girl. Um, I drove to, with her to school every day, and toward the end of the year, last year, I heard her saying some things about doctors and this and that, but at the end of the conversation, she'd hang up and she wouldn't discuss it further. And I wouldn't pry, and I didn't know what it was. And as this year went on, you know, one year later, I, she really deteriorated and unfortunately lost her battle. Something that Peril taught me was that God gives us our lot, just like the Levites got their lot. Each of us get our lot from however many years. Unfortunately, Peril's was only 25 years. But each of us, ideally, until 120, get our lot. And we don't necessarily have a choice as to what that lot is. But we do have a choice of how we handle that lot. And I saw that Peril handled her a lot quietly. She didn't complain. She didn't vent to anyone. Why me? Why is this happening to me? She kept smiling and she kept going as much as she could. Um, and I also heard it at the funeral that even at a time when she couldn't even see anymore and couldn't speak, when someone would speak about someone she cared about, like her parents, she would smile. And that was the best that she could do, and it was all that she could do. And it showed that she really utilized her lot to the fullest. May we learn from her that we should all accept our lot, whether difficult at times or amazing at times, to accept it with love and to use it to its fullest. Have a wonderful Shabbos.